Hi, so on this roaster conversion I've got the batteries in the front of the car and then the motor and controller in the back so I need to get the cables from the front to the back so the best way I think to do that is to run them under the car um, and I'm just doing this short video about removing the pipes and things that I don't need there and then routing the cables through. So the cables are going to go down under the car and then come back up in the centre where I'll put a big isolator. So under the car there's a plastic tray that's normally bolted up under the chassis um, and in that run the main tubes so you've got the coolant pipes going to the radiator at the front and also um, other things like brakes and the air conditioning tube. So what I've done is taken the air conditioning tubes out. They're similar diameter to the power cables that I'm going to run from the battery in the front. So by dropping those out I've now got some clip points that I can use. So I'm adding those two cables in, clipping them up into where the air conditioning pipes go and then I'll put this tray back on. What I'm actually going to do is remove this vacuum pipe um, because the vacuum is all now sort of done in the front and instead I'm going to put the 0 volt or 0 volt uh, cable in where the vacuum pipe goes because it's the same diameter I'm then going to put the main power the 100 volt cable to the batteries they're going to go in well one of these two probably that clip which is where the air conditioning tube was um, and then the last one I'm going to put a rigid PVC tube front to back and that will be for any control cables that I want to go and I can more easily feed those through the rigid straight tube. These need to drop away to give space to do that uh, and there are three of these under the car uh, just some simple two screws holding them on um, and then that will be ready for this floor pan to go back on because having a straight tube in here means I can easily feed cables without taking the floor pan off. As just mentioned I've, I was going to use the old vacuum tube goes from front to the back to the car to feed some cables through but it goes through all sorts of wiggly tortuous lines uh, which makes it almost impossible to feed any cables through there. So I'm just going to take this out and replace it with a rigid tube so that will be gone. Um, and then rather than put the battery in where the normal battery goes in that space, um, that's only going to chassis anyway so that's easy. And this cable here takes the main feed I'm getting from the fuse box which we normally supply from the battery and this cable goes under the car to the alternator so this is where that's normally charging the battery. So if I just connect these two together, remove this connection completely and just isolate that off, I can then put the 12 volt battery in the back uh, and that can run any other ancillary stuff as well, just from the back of the car. And that means when I put the main batteries in the front here, um, I'm not going to block access to where that 12 volt battery would normally be. Turns out that 15mm is about the right size, which is the same size as plastic water pipe. So I tend to hang on to stuff if I can. And just got this from out the garden. It was hanging around, nearly threw it away recently, but didn't. And turns out that's exactly the same size as the air conditioning pipe. So this will be ideal for running cables through. So I'll just chop out the piece I need plenty long enough and that will do. Right so I've just got the cables in under the car you can see the longer negative cable routing down there and then the positive cable which is going to go up to the isolator up there is running down under the car and also I've put in this 15mm tubing so all those cables are now running up under there. So the 0 volts is this one. You've got the 
standard coolant pipes that I've left in place as well, just in case I ever want to use them. Uh, 15 mil and then the positive line, and they will go off to the front. And these are the cables coming along under the car. So they just drop up through some wider openings just under the front and then I'll put some uh, prote more protection over the cables. So there's two cables coming up there and then up through those gaps there. So I now have the two main cables coming through under the floor and also this extra tube here that I've put in to be able to run other ancillary cables through. So there's these two cables here. So nice big power cables and I've got some trunking for them. Uh, and then so the main one from the front goes up to this switch that I've mounted uh, up under the just behind the seats of the car. Uh, and then that will go off to the control module at the back. Um, so that's the switch mounted just in the back of the car behind the seats. So it's nice and easy to access. Okay, so the cables are routed through now. And uh, I've put the battery stack back in. Uh, I've got the isolator in there with the cables going onto that. Uh, I've got the fuse on the end of the battery stack, as I've shown in previous videos. And then the Norvox cable here, which will connect onto that end, but I don't need to do that just yet. Uh, I've got a panel in there just to tidy it all up a bit. Um, so that's about it for this. Uh, that's the cables routed through and uh, I just need to connect the controllers at the back now. So I'll do that in another video. I'm now back onto this project a bit more. So um, there should be plenty more videos coming through very soon on the rest of the build. Okay, until next time, I'll see you later.